Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be talking mostly about my new GTX uh, 1060 rigs. So I have two of this, two of these rigs, but they're slightly different variations uh, in the build. Um, so I'll be mostly talking about those in this video, and also my other uh, mining hardware. Just doing a general update for you guys. Uh, mostly, I'll be focusing on these two rigs down on the bottom there. They are two uh, GTX 1060 rigs, uh, six cards um, a piece. And um, I'll be mostly focusing on those, but I'll kind of tell you how I ended up in that sort of situation in the first place. So I'll flip the camera around and I'll just be sort of talking you through what I've currently got going and um, how I ended up with, with what I've currently got. Okay, so on the display screen, you can see that we are mining on one rig at 132 mega hashes on Ethereum. And that is the rig at the bottom, which is this mining sky rig. I'm just going to turn it off, hopefully for a slightly better audio quality. Um, I'll explain the hardware that's in there in um, just a moment, but first let's um, just shut this power supply off because the power supply is what's making all of the noise. Can't quite get there. Ah, hopefully that should be better for you. So, yes, let's talk about this uh, mining sky rig. So originally my plan was to fit this mining sky rig with eight GTX 1060s. Um, but unfortunately that wasn't possible. So these are the GTX 1060s that I originally planned to have fitted into that rig and as you can see they are extra wired. Uh, I originally planned to have just the, the regular pallet GTX 1060s but these ones are the jet stream version so they have kind of a nice uh, finish and I incorrectly assumed that they were the same dimensions as the regular version but they're actually a triple uh, slot design so they're much bigger by one extra piece which means that unfortunately I couldn't use these GTX 1060s in the mining sky rig because each uh, graphics card blocked the correspond the next you know, slot to it so what I ended up doing was uh, the 12 GPU mining rig that was here I ended up cannibalizing that and putting a lot of that hardware back into the mining sky rig so the mining sky rig currently has three RX 480s and five RX uh, 560s. Um, oddly enough, my RX 570 would not work in that machine for, for some reason. Uh, additionally, I also replaced the fans in the mining sky rig. So you can see here, I have the old fans that was in there and they was really, really loud and um, really um, just too loud to, to be used in normal kind of operations. So I replaced four of those fans in the front of the, the mining sky rig with uh, these Arctic uh, fans. And they're really good, really quiet and uh, run much much better so all the noise from that uh, machine now just comes from the power supply rather than um, those cooling fans so the mining sky rig using the three rx 470s and the five rx 560s currently uses around 650 to 700 watts and mines at ethereum at about 132 mega hashes so now let's focus our attention on the G2 GTX 1060 rigs. So like I said, originally I purchased eight of these uh, pallet GTX 1060s and they were going to go into the mining sky rig. So cannibalizing that old hardware, underneath we have the ASRock H110 uh, motherboard and also the uh, original power supply, all the kind of the original fittings. And what I did was fitted eight of the GPUs, eight of these new GTX 1060s onto that hardware, moved the old hardware across. Um, but the rig was really unstable with eight graphics cards. I couldn't really quite find the problem. I don't know if it was a problem with uh, Simple Mining OS or the drivers. Um, I don't think it was anything to do with the risers, but running eight GPUs on this rig uh, was really unstable. I'd get um, a day at the most and then it would crash and it wasn't just a case of rebooting and restarting, it was it was really problematic. Um, got lots of issues with that. So what I decided to do was take um, those two GPUs off and create a completely separate rig using kind of half the hardware. You remember previously I had both of the uh, power supplies connected so I've still got the same power supplies and they're still the same frame. But I also purchased an additional uh, four GPUs, so then I'll have six a piece. But on this side, I used the Asus uh, mining uh, B250 Expert. So there was my first chance to use that motherboard, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in uh, just a moment. But essentially, I ended up with two GTX 1060 rigs, and I am super pleased with them. 
Going back to this one, it mines at 142 mega hashes and uses 550 watts. So a really good, excellent performance, really pleased with that. The cards are overclocked. I have the fan speed set to 60%. The power limit is set to 75 and the GPU clocks, um, I'll put those in the description because it's kind of difficult to explain uh, using the simple miner system, it works out um, a little bit different. But uh, these GPUs again, um, 24 mega hashes each, so really pleased with that. Going back to the uh, Asus motherboard side, and just talking about the configuration, you can see we've got all those uh, lovely PCI slots, but I'm only using just a tiny percentage of them. This motherboard, in terms of the fitting of the risers, it was much, much easier than using um, you know, the ASRock board. Getting those uh, riser cables fitted in there worked really well, really no bother at all. Um, oddly enough, the, the kind of the biggest issues with this, this motherboard, the uh, Asus board, was uh, booting from the uh, USB device, that was a real pain to set up within the BIOS, it couldn't recognize any of my USB drives. The other issue was uh, the pinouts for the uh, power button and reset switch, I had to sort of dig this old switch out because there's no onboard buttons. Um, and the pinout configuration for that was quite complicated, I had, ended up having to scan like a QR code to find the, uh, the proper pinouts for, for it to get that uh, power button uh, connected. So something simple like that ended up causing um, quite a lot of bother. But eventually I managed to get through the bias problems, you can see I also got a hard drive there that's running simple mining os and i end up using the hard drive because i was having those initial issues with the usb and so I just stuck with the hard drive in the end um the other difference on this one is that it has the same uh, gtx 1060 graphics cards but these ones three of these graphics cards um have a slightly different uh, memory i'm not too sure what the brand difference um is to be honest i've, I've not checked it using like gpu z or anything but three of the graphics cards run the same as these ones, uh, I get 24 mega hashes and the other three run slightly slower, about 20 mega hashes. So on this rig here it uses the same power, about 525 to 550 watts, but it runs at 132 mega hashes, kind of same as the, uh, the Mine and Sky rig there. So just to show you the GPUs from another angle, you can see they're pretty good looking graphics cards. And like I say, these are the jet stream ones, so they have a slightly increased heat sink and fan size, which is really good if you want to be using mining, but if you've got a tight space, like I say, in that GPU mining rig, or if you're in a, got a small PC case, then these graphics cards could potentially cause you some problems. So be aware that they are triple fan design, and most likely they will cover up your second uh, PCI Express slot. So be aware of that if you choose to purchase these. Okay and just sort of um, to summarize we also have the first coin miner up on the top shelf that also has a single um, 1050 Ti in there just to kind of give it an extra make use of that slot really it was one that I had left over from um, testing and sharing those um, graphics cards with you guys. First coin mining has been doing really well this month you would have seen just from my most recent video had a very good month for that. Previously, the, the November was awful. Uh, GPU mining uh, earnings, very good at the moment. First coin, just check the price today, and I think we're at eight, is it eight, six, nine or something for Ethereum. So very good on the GPU mining front as well. Very good earnings, um, very good profit ratio. So that's all going very well. I just wanted to kind of catch this video. Sorry for the weird angles and stuff there. I'm gonna be taking these other um, miners out uh, they're going to be sort of put in into a different location because i don't really like all this stuff going on here i just want to kind of capture this video here just really for testing and then i'll move it to my other mining area which helps keeps those everything running cool and also in a much um, safer environment um, in terms of like fire safety and stuff okay guys so that's it for another video i sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching as always, if you have any questions or comments, then please don't hesitate to ask. Put your questions or comments in the comments area, and I, will, I do read them, and I will get back to you um, as best as I can, time permitting, of course. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. Give it a like if you did like it, or if you didn't like it, then also let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to follow me on my other social media sites, so Facebook and Twitter. I'm most active on those, and I share different things. Um, also, Instagram as well. I'll share the occasional picture of my mining rigs, etc. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.